Well, good morning and welcome back to Stories from the Collection. You join me for the second installment in this series, and today I will be talking about a reel that has never seen the limelight. And it's funny because I've owned it almost as long as the reel from the first episode, that sap aggressor, that sap combo even. This reel uh, was a yard sale find a couple of weeks after that wonderful uh, sap combo had come into my hands. And when I found this reel, it was just sitting in a box, you know, with like five and ten dollar reels. And it was it was a very hurting unit. If you recall the swing away ice machines uh, to crush the ice up back in the day, that's about how this thing felt. And the drag was sticky as all hell. But it was nonetheless a reel that I felt you know, could be turned into a spod reel. It could be useful to me in some way. So I purchased it for five dollars, and it came home with me. It was a spod reel for about two months before that on the main drive shaft. I decided right then and there to strip off all the line, and it went into what I call my real graveyard. And there it sat for a good five and a half years, I would say, until just this past winter. I was off work a little while and was needing something productive to do to keep me working and keep me busy. This was obviously before the COVID crisis. And so I was organizing out the uh, carpy cupboard and uh, lo and behold, here was this reel. And I decided with, you know, what I had learned about reels and how to service them, that maybe it was worth opening it up and having a look. So I opened up the body and my God, what a nightmare. You know, it really looked like someone had been grinding coffee up in there. The amount of dirt and grime that built up, the fact that the grease wasn't even really grease anymore, more like dust. And I looked at underneath the drag knob and pulled off all the, pulled all the washers out of it and they were all rusting and they were corroded. So I took some time, you know, and I, I spent a few hours cleaning everything out with nice warm soapy water, re-greased everything, found some new drag washers that just so happened to fit. And the end result was something that I'm actually quite proud of. There's a lot of cosmetic scratches in this beautiful little specimen, but the end result was the Silstar BD70. The drag system is actually quite good considering there's a couple of nicks on the spool but nothing in the way of where one casts the line. It's up on the top end of the spool lip. I had to clean off the spool because the decals were starting to go anyhow. But looking at it you can see it's really been through the ringer. Lots of nicks, lots of dings. But it's yet to catch me a carp. And so I've decided that for today's episode I'm going to put it in the limelight and put it on its very first carp. Well, it's funny how things go sometimes. I hadn't even finished setting up yet. I hadn't actually even got the rod in the pod and it was already running. You gotta love when a baiting effort pays off. <laughs> well, there you have it. No longer a virgin. What a wonderful way to break in that Silstar. A cracking little chunky canal comic. Oh, great fight. What a good looking fish. Let's get this one back and hope for a couple more.
couple fish as well. Hadn't had any indications to actually put on some fresh bait here. Little stringer of uh, my boilies. And it absolutely rattled up. I know this fish. I think I had it last year. Look at the size of the tail on that part. Beautiful canal creature. We'll get this one back and maybe we'll have a couple more. One last look at this angry comet that I believe is a recapture from last year. Parking lot's starting to fill up here at the old canal, and I think that I'll be packing it in very shortly as the pressure is, you know, starting to get closer to me. <laughs> and uh, of course, we are in that COVID crisis, so definitely want to maintain my social distance. But hey, what a great way to break in a reel and put it in the spotlight. It's first time ever, at least in my hands. Two lovely carp. Can't ask for much more. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next time, tight lines. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You always leave the rod in last. And this fish is not slowed down yet. Noting that it felt like a substantial fish, I was really fortunate that my good friend Conrad had stopped in to pay a visit, just in time to help me net this specimen. It felt just like old times a pair of goons out fishing on a canal. And just like old times, something had to go wrong. Ow! that for a result. The biggest fish I've had out of the canal thus far. A gorgeous 22 pound female. What a cracking fish.